Hello, I welcome you to this continuity analysis thingy here, right here on this YouTube channel here. And uh, this is a TV channel, and this is a continuity of this TV channel. And the TV channel is called Minimax, and the continuity is called Minimax Continuity. What else, silly? So, this continuity is from May 18th, 2018. So, it's a pretty new continuity, like relatively recent only a year old slightly more than a year old and this is the Czech version of the channel I guess I'm I am led to believe that this is the Czech version of the TV channel the, of course there's a Hungarian and a Romanian version and possibly a Polish version not exactly sure of this but that's what I suspect it's probably true though I know you want to deny it but it's true there's no way around it uh, yeah, interesting shows here on this channel. This channel uh, has a wide variety of shows, and they're not too bad looking either. It's got nice promos for the shows. Yeah, I see good things in this channel's future. It's rather enjoyable to watch. The only problem is it's not available in English, I, so maybe that's that could be a problem, or maybe that's the secret of their success. Because when you become too big. That's also not good. People like start paying attention and they start regulating you and keeping you down and all that stuff, you know. So it's better to maintain a low profile, right? To be a dedicated TV channel for countries, these Central and Eastern Europe countries like Hungary, Romania, Czech Republic, Slo Slovakia and all that stuff. So parts of this continuity we shall skip. Uh, I don't even know if I'm allowed to show this. What is this? Is this an intro? Is this a, like this is like this clip is too long. Let's skip it. Is this the intro for Mosh and the Bear? Like, why did we have such a long intro here? Aren't like isn't this something we can get in trouble for having a uh, too long? clips that are too long in our video okay so uh, as I've been made aware these this dog and this cat are called by they go by Hungarian names and they're called plushy dog and small cat little cat Motsi uh, Kutya and Zika, something like that. So yeah, and the the boy, the boy and girl, they're called Minnie and Max. So together, they're Minnie Max. Isn't that interesting? Gnomes, a uh, some kind of show about gnomes. They look funny. These gnomes, they're kind of realistic, but also cartoony looking. So. Yeah. Here here you have them, all of them. Uh, he's gonna do something silly. Yes he he did. Oh yes you did. Who's a little bit of silly person? Who's such a silly Billy? You are, yes you are. So this channel probably contained a lot of ad breaks, but we cut them all out and we've left in some some shows that we shouldn't have and we're gonna watch out to not include them like the peanuts shorties shorts or or the the Simon's cat short because even this might you know bring us into trouble this might be trouble so cz the judging by the url the the website that they left there for us to plainly see and visit whenever we have time uh, this is the Czech version of the Minimax channel the the Czech stream so to speak All right so there's there's a couple of streams and this is the Czech one and even though it's the Czech one you can still select uh, you, you can still choose from a couple of audio tracks so even though this is the Czech version, you can still probably watch it in Hungarian. 
sometimes maybe even in Slovak and if you're really lucky maybe in Romanian but I don't believe there there was a choice to watch it in Romanian you'd have to just go and find a Romanian version of the channel which is close to identical I don't know very similar the same bumpers and promos so zum 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 that's how I imagine this music went so we see this dude in the chair and oh look the cat the PC Sika the small the little cat is stuck on a tree and the dog is trying to help it come down and Minnie and Max do you want to help it come down but what I'm saying is that if it knew how to climb up it knows how to climb down and it did so it just it doesn't need your help the cat uh, stuck on a tree it's never stuck it's there by choice so just let it be it's there because it's afraid of something or something I don't know so whenever you see a cat a cat stuck on a tree just let it be it will find its way down that's what I believe these are like animals with instincts they've got superpowers abilities no one can match they're like liquid they can fall onto the ground and land in such a way that they don't even get hurt these creatures are super uh, they have super abilities oh look at all of these weird creatures they look like my little pony people but they're not ponies they're people weird this you can recognize this looks like a girly oh you see uh, check text so I don't know what they wrote there but Rose Tommy I couldn't read it because it disappeared too fast Blazniva I don't know I can't read it fast enough like who do you think I am some kind of person who's able to read super fast my read speed is below average I believe in any language in any language you can imagine I I'm a slow reader hey look they're playing video games without oh and the cat and the dog they're in the video game so it's almost like Super Mario a platformer game and they're just jumping and collecting stuff upgrades power-ups I like this bumper a lot and even the mountain looks like a Super Mario mount and they just jumped out from behind the TV screen how strange is that that's a very strange bumper indeed because how would that work in real life I don't know but I guess it would because if it worked in a cartoon it must work in real life or else the only thing that could explain it would be magic Bobby and Bill here's my boy what is this Bobby and Bill Bobby and Bill Bobby and Bill Bobby and Bill it looks familiar somehow I've seen it somewhere some it looks very familiar somehow I may have watched a YouTube video about this but I completely forgot what this is so some kind of promo we all have clips they got a pet turtle and he, he goes to school and he has a dog who is like a who is very skilled at communicating with the boy but he can't talk still I don't think he can talk but they best but they're best buddies like as if the dog could talk right that's how well his communication skills are developed he only needs body language to communicate with his human they got some kind of Peter Pan stuff going on a cartoon about Peter Pan and Tinkerbell and the nest yeah they don't they don't age or whatever I don't know so no I've never been a particular fan of Peter Pan and this uh, computer animated cartoon doesn't really look that great if I'm honest the 
graphics don't look too impressive or anything the colors are not really nice looking uh, so about this Transformers cartoon it's okay it's alright it's relatively pleasant to look at I don't know about the storyline or anything so we got this um, that was the end credits of this bear polar bear blizzard or something I forgot what it's called uh, I forgot his name so mini max a lot of mini max bumpers in this one video you will see so many bumpers you have seen a lot of bumpers already and in promos and you, you might see even more if you continue watching so these two mascots a curious George would you have thought that you would see curious George here on this TV channel I didn't expect to see Curious George. He's got a very funny looking master or owner. I don't know how to call this. A pet owner. Okay. This person who's like who walks around dressed in yellow, completely yellow, and has this weird looking yellow hat. You know, it's easy to distinguish him. Like you see this dude and you immediately think about it. Curious George, that's the, that's the guy from Curious George. So I believe we've seen this already. I remember the purple color and the cat doing the silly thing in the end. Oh, the peanuts. So that's what I wanted to skip actually because that's something that, you know, it's like it's like an actual show almost. It's, it's a large, that's too large of a fragment of a show to comfortably be able to show here on this, in this YouTube video. So they're at a theater looking at this Minimax logo, okay? So this seems to be some kind of movie block or something. Because these bumpers mean stuff. Hey, look, mermaids. And I believe I found. A cartoon for girls sometimes they have dedicated a Netflix original what what was that was that a Netflix original that they were showing I don't know what it was exactly but hey they're using Netflix footage material cartoons and stuff isn't that interesting right so some Netflix shows make their way onto TV Netflix is very powerful if you think about it. It's gotten very powerful. So, what is this cartoon about? It's like hedgehogs or, what, or something. Well, they're like creatures that are not really any sp particular animal. They're like a, an imagined animal. So, you just don't know what kind of animal they are. The gnomes are funny. Like, I have a problem with the CGI animation sometimes. There's a phenomenon called the uncanny valley effect, or whatever, the uncanny valley. And if you search for it, if you Google that, it's this weird... Oh, wait, Simon Cat, that's something we need to skip. Because it's too long. Oh, wait okay here we go don't want to skip any important parts right if I skip them I need to go back to where they start so no cats and no dogs so they have a brilliant idea they pretend that these are plushies and bam they can enter Hasbro Studios so who dot who on CZ CZ dot TV so the two websites they listed were for the Hungarian website and for the Czech website so just something to keep in mind so I was talking about the uncanny valley effect effect which is uh, the weird feeling you get when something looks realistic but strange right like believably like a human but 
something's all off about it and I believe that's the effect I get I feel it's the feeling I get when I uh, look at certain CGI animations some are better than others but I believe I have some problems with CGI animations like when I play a Super Mario game one of these new Super Mario games new Super Mario Bros Bros <laughs> Wii or something like that Wii U the graphics, I don't know, something about it just makes me nause, nauseated. So, another Charlie Brown comic cartoon, which I need to skip. And here we are, back at the bumpers, promos, and logos, and everything. So this dude in a chair, just relaxing. And now there's skateboarding and roller plating. So... There's there are so many bumpers and promos we see here. It's ridiculous. This video is jam packed with a lot of them, and they don't repeat as often as you would think. A lot of new material. They really put in a lot of work and effort and effort and created a lot of bumpers and promos. So, what is this? The show about gnomes, but we're somehow going in more depth than usual. No, I don't know. I believe this is some some somehow a different promo, a more in-depth promo. No, it's not. I just never paid attention to this promo. Maybe I'm not sure. I can't tell. So we got ad breaks, and now returning from ad breaks. That's what this couch bumper signifies. And now they're home, like playing around. And they have this TV with Minnie Max on, and they have uh, the girl Minnie is baking a cake, and the person called Max is taking a picture of them on the, with their phone, with his phone or tablet. <clears throat> so and now they're like sitting on a pillow, you know, sitting on a pillow in front of a TV. It's kind of awesome. I want to do that later today. Just put a pillow on the floor and sit down on the pillow and watch TV. That's great. Hey, I think I saw an alien. I did. I did see an alien. So uh, this, these cartoons, I, I noticed that old one about this bearded person with the, with the cat and the farm animals. Yeah. And this one, is this Polly Pocket or what? Looks like Polly Pocket or something. A 3D animation, a pretty well made one. Not perfect, but you know, more or less decent. Not sure about the uncanny effect I was talking about earlier. You know, you, you gotta like watch a cartoon and give it a chance in order to really know whether it's good or not, right? First impressions sometimes can be deceiving so maybe you get the wrong impression and then you can change your mind later on hey look we've seen this bumper before the dog thinks that the cat is in trouble and he calls the humans and then they're like doing everything they can to try to help it they uh, and then they would combine efforts to reach the cat but the cat just slides down the tree as if nothing happened that is pretty funny Oh yeah, this is the end of the continuity. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.